Come on, we just go outside. Lah. We will be on raindrops, it's okay. Ready? Yeah. So welcome to District 27. Today I'm at Jalan Mata Ayer. We're actually right along Sembawang Road. This is one of the very rare landed enclave right here, which are pure semi-D enclave. 3,700 plus square feet. Currently, it already has 5 plus 1 bedroom. Very good frontage of 10 meters in terms of plot width, 30 over meters in terms of plot depth. Let's kickstart the whole thing. Just have a look at this car porch here, columnless. You can easily park, I would say, in exact. You can do four cars. One car can be here, one car in this direction, one car right along into the garden, one car right along the entrance. Outside, in terms of the street, no single line in the middle, no double yellow line at the side. You can easily park cars on the left and right hand side if you have more cars. If you look at this home, it looks pretty majestic. Because of the width that it has, the width is important because with 10 meters, this home has a slightly wider setback. It's close to about three odd meters, giving your home close to about seven meters within. And we also love the fact that in terms of like the openness, it feels good. As I come to the side, this is the benefit that you can have because you have like a three meter setback. Put your bicycles, put in all your gardening plants right here, and then as we walk towards the back, there's like a high boundary feature at the back because that's the Sambawa Air Base behind us. In uh, Sambawa Air Base, that's of course where the helicopters are and a lot of people when they come to northeast they'll say that there's a lot of airplanes because there's Pale Bar but when you come to the north they say that there's a lot of Chinook in Singapore at certain portions there'll be air bases uh, here and there so I think it's really a matter of preferences of which zoning do you prefer so I'm gonna head in I'm standing in the living area. This is a 6.1 meter ceiling height. Level 2 has only one mega bedroom towards the back, which is the master room. One mega family size area zoning in the middle. But if you want one more bedroom at the front facing towards the front car porch, that is very doable. Later, Emma is going to show you how you can extend outwards to build your six bedroom. <laughs> Based on the traditional kind of layout, I can actually put in the TV console space to be here. And that creates a very far depth, which is close to about six odd meters to utilize as your TV console space and your resting area. In terms of design, they wanted to have the TV right here. This is just a partition TV console in the middle. And then you come towards the center here. You have a home shelter, you also have an uh, under stairway storage as well. When you come towards this portion, this is a dedicated dining zone. Right behind us, this is the granny's room. For those of you who don't need the granny's room, you can actually hack down this wall here and then you can create like an opening. Uh, but of course, you need to take out the, uh, the beams on the left and right hand side and then enlarge it into like a dry kitchen zoning as well. So, Here you have a common bathroom and your enclosed kitchen. So with a dry kitchen over there, this can be an enclosed kitchen, fully rectangular. As you come here, you still have a yard bath as well as a helper's room towards the back. Right now towards the back, yeah, this is utilized as like a heavy cooking area as well. This home is close to about 20 years. If you want a modern look, you can just vinyl over provided the tiles are in good condition. So as you come here, you realize that actually the build quality is pretty solid. I really love homes that were built about 20 years ago. And that's the same um, comments that was given by our builder as well as you walk through this home with Emma and Kevin. With that, I'm gonna pass you to Emma. So now we are up on the second floor. Currently on the second floor, we have one huge master with an ensuite as well as a common bath. And this area, which is what our owners currently are using as their family entertainment zone. We already had a walkthrough with our chartered surveyor. This home, what you can potentially do is that you can extend the entire floor area on this area. You can potentially carve out another bedroom on this floor with a common bath that is already provided on this floor. Let's go and check out the master bedroom. The 
first thing you'll notice is just how huge this master bedroom is. Right over here is the bed, which currently is a double queen. And over here, you still have space for a study table, as well as your walk-in wardrobe, as well as your ensuite bathroom. Right outside over here on level 2, you also have a common bathroom which currently serves as the bathroom for the family zone. Let's go head up and check out the level 3. Right, so currently on the level 3, you already have 4 good sized bedrooms. The first room that we are entering is actually the junior master. So this bedroom, again, it also has a double queen size bed as well as an attached bathroom. So potentially this might be your children's room or the grandparents' room. Currently over here, you also have 3 large panels of wardrobe space as well as a study desk that is dedicated in this room. Coming into this second common room, this room itself, there are no fixtures in this room and you can see the size of this room as well as this wardrobe space that's already been set up for you. I think you can easily fit a queen size bed if you want, otherwise this can also stay as your study. Currently, you have a common bathroom that serves the three bedroom server here. However, you can potentially change this into a Jack and Jill bathroom as well. So this will become the dedicated toilets for these two bedrooms. For this room itself, you have an attached balcony. Apparently, you actually have a king bed over here. So it, this goes to show the generous size of this room. Even though there are four rooms on this floor, every room has a good dedicated amount of space. According to our chartered surveyor, probably you also need a QP assessment for this. Even though the room is already this size, there is a potential for you to expand out even more. <laughs> Last but not least, the fourth common room that we have in this corner. Again, you have full height panels of wardrobes already done up for you. Currently, it's being used by the owners as a study area, but I think the potential of all these bedrooms you know, are endless. If you need more bedrooms for your family's needs, otherwise this can also double up as a study again or an entertainment zone. Let's head on down to join Melvin for the rest of this home tour. Alright, so we hope that you enjoyed this landed home tour at District 27, Jalan Mata Aye. This is a quantum play, $5.3 million. Price tiers usually move up in different seasons and uh, of course, this is a season whereby Semi D is seeing a different kind of trajectory in the landed market. If you want to hunt for lower quantum Semi D, this might be one of the key choices for you and your family to make a decision in 2023. So if you want to have a look, give a call to Emma and Kevin. Their numbers are right down below. My name is Melvin Lim. As always, happy to show the place to catch. It's raining! Hahaha! <laughs> this house is that this... Oh. <laughs> so we already had a walkthrough with our 